Okay, so let's talk about merge and add array. So I'll show you how they work and I'll show you the difference even though they're a little bit um, in, in different places. Yeah, let's actually uh, speak about the remove. Okay, so uh, the remove it's also only for primitive arrays. So we will talk about three of them. So add, remove and merge. So let's start and we have um, some array in here which is relatively complex structure and we have also our array uh, from this sequence so we go into play with both of them and let's see how this will work i'm going to call on this module just to make our test so here we have uh, that array which has contained five items uh, sorry six items Right, and uh, we have that uh, uh, JSON and a structure that parsed here. So this uh, is our text array, uh, and let's start to merge them. So I'll show you that uh, you literally can merge any arrays, right? Uh, doesn't matter the structure it just depends on like on your willing let's say right so if we want to merge this conversation array and array that we got here uh, you just can put as many things as you want right and that will do a large array with uh, six items from here and that another array okay so you see we got that array which was just uh, four text elements and these uh, guys in here I can uh, do at once add something so I again I assume I need to for example I have six items from here right and I uh, got them with a slice so let's say I need to get just the first item from my array in here and add to this whole thing. So this how works add. So we go into start with a more complex example, maybe, right? And I'll show you also a simpler one. So add, so I'm going to add this whole array, just one item from previous one, right? So for this, I will use a slice to cut it and just return like this. So we're literally going to get to this large array, just one item from this. Okay, let's run it. So we got our first item, just to make sure that we got the correct one. It's uh, 2ZU. This is our output. So this is item that we got in here. So you see it's a, it's a separate collection. It's our 2ZU. So we added that item to this whole thing. Okay. And that's how it works. We also can just, uh, just assume this does not exist, right? So we also can do a merge, for example, to that array and something simple. Uh, like add so how you also create arrays will be also add with the um, empty array so you have empty uh, sorry the empty array in this same tab the only one keyword the empty array and whatever you want to add either some item or just a text I will use just a number here so that will create for me the simple, simple array let's just do it ones just to show you so that will be a simple array right and we will just go into add these items to it so you see we got just one item of array and if we do it for whole thing we definitely will add this one to three item to our uh, big array I just missed one uh, bracket so you see and the make did it for me so syntax was incorrect Okay, so we have a merge, this item, this item, and this item with the add. So you see we are add ends. So this 
how it works. We got these items, then these items, and then our one to three. So another option for you, if you don't want to merge these guys, right? Uh, for some reason you want to add it to create a new array, you also can do it this way, right? Definitely just add uh, empty array, right? And add items one by one. Item one to three, then this item, and then another item. That will do the same. So you have, again, you have array, right? As the initial structure, because add requires you always start with array. So this is important, right? So you have to start with array. If you don't have array, you may do use empty array. And that will return you uh, the same structure of array. And then it will be formed this way because it assumes you add, uh, like you see how it forms it a little bit differently because it's not merge, it adds and you create a, a new array with a sub kind of sub arrays in it. So you literally, if you need to merge them, right, then you have to do it like this. If you going to add, because it's uh, logical that you are going to add to empty array. So we have empty array, then we create this guy and this, sorry, this will be the first item of our array. This will be the second item. This will be the third. So let's create sub arrays. So just remember about it. Uh, and the remove uh, works for only, as it says here, affecting only for primitive arrays. So text or numbers. That means if we would have our complex array that we have before, right? With these guys, let's just rerun it to have it. Uh, again, fixing the syntax a bit. Uh, so that uh, means we can't uh, uh, remove these complex collections that we potentially may have, right? So we can't uh, remove this whole thing. We can remove only this, 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 or something simple. So say this one, I can say like, okay, I don't need this one. So my remove will exclude that item from array. So we had previously uh, 11 items. Right now, if I'm going to run it, that will remove it. And it, you also can do it for several items will work exactly the same way. Uh, so you see we got 10 items, right? One less. I can copy these two guys also and just add them to my remove function. Okay, so I to my existing array, I'm going to remove from it this, this, and this. And if you open uh, remove, you also will see the description. So you can add as many values to remove as needs. So we removing three from 11. So that's what we're going to have is uh, eight items, right? So these uh, three was removed. It's actually more than 11, I believe. So we removed this, this, and this. So we get uh, by by G. Yeah, so we technically got only one, this of four. So that's uh, how it works for these. Yes, yeah, so 11 minus three will be eight. Definitely. So that's uh, everything for our add, merge, and remove functions for our arrays.